Welcome folks to You Can Handyman, where if I can do it, you definitely can. So you're probably wondering why I am in my kitchen in a winter hat, uh, and that's because it's freaking cold out. Uh, originally from Buffalo, I moved to Denver, now I'm in the Dallas-Fort Worth area, and I cannot get away from it. Got a storm a month after I got here a year ago, we got another solid storm, so I thought we'd do a quick review and uh, maybe go have some fun on a golf cart. So why not do a review on a heater? Even though I didn't think I might need those things out here anymore, I do. But first, grab your favorite adult beverage. Thank you, sir. And we'll get after it. All right, guys, so the first thing we're gonna review here is the heater. I bought this heater for the golf cart. Um, and so far, I am super happy with it. It comes with a stand, if you wanna just use it uh, in a tent or, well, I'm not, gonna, I'm not gonna tell you to use it in a tent, that's up to you, but, you know, if you're working underneath a car or something or you got a little shed and just wanna warm up your hands with it, uh, it'd be great. It's doing a great job of keeping my golf cart warm on the inside with the uh, sides that I bought for it, which is gonna be another review down the road. And then it comes with a cup holder adapter. Now, I bought this when I bought this because I didn't know this came with one. So I'll show you when we get to the golf cart how I mounted this so you can get the bigger tank in it and so it won't fall over. But I'll tell you guys, um, the thing's been working great. It fires right up. You know, you just turn it on. It's got a little click ignition there. Uh, it, the heat does adjust with the shaking of the golf cart. It hasn't shut off on me at all. Uh, super happy. I think around 60 bucks. Uh, I'll put a link in the description uh, so you guys could uh, grab yourself one. They have another one that's about 100. Uh, but in the reviews, they were saying when it shakes around, it can shut off on you a lot. So that's why I went with this one. It's been great and it's about forty dollars less. So, seeing that I bought this, my cameraman Justin, as a matter of fact, said you need to get one of these. So I ordered one of these, twenty-two bucks. It's so you can refill your small tanks because we all know these aren't getting any cheaper. So all you do is you—I already have it screwed on here. You screw it on to your small tank, screw it on to your big tank. And then what you'll do is make sure you have this off. Turn this one on. Flip her over. Okay. Then you're gonna release the gas in. Now, the, you, probably, you might be able to hear it. The gas is gonna kind of stop flowing into it. When, so it's only going to get, you got to get the air the, the air out of there. So it's probably only going to fill about halfway, maybe even a little less. So if you, you could either, you could just fill it to that if you want, but you're going to be doing it more often. But if you want to get the tank a little bit more full, you need to get yourself small. You can't use regular need, needle nose. Those are too big. So you got to get something a little bit smaller. And then all you're going to do is just grab this. It's like a, a bicycle tire fill. Um, what are those called, Justin? Oh, I don't know. Some kind of valve. Uh, man, I forget the name for it. So you're just going to relieve a little pressure, and then that way you're going to get, you know, propane's a liquid. You're trying to get the liquid in there. So you're going to relieve, release a little bit of the air and gas, and then that way the liquid will keep filling up in there. So... What we're gonna do is, we're gonna zip up the sides on the golf cart, we're gonna fire up this heater, me and Justin are gonna jump in the golf cart and uh, see if we go do some donuts. So uh, yeah, let's go have some fun. See you in a minute. All right guys, welcome back, here with my buddy Justin. What up? So let me show you how uh, I mounted this thing. So, there it is. Um, uh, I cut the bottom of the cup holder off to get it to sit a little bit lower 
And then all I did was ran a couple screws. Ran a couple screws through there so it can't fall out or anything like that because you really don't want something like that to fall. Let me fire it up for you, show you how easy it is. But you know how that goes now that I said that. Probably won't fire up. So yeah, you just turn this all the way to the left, full gas, click, up, oh, there it goes, hold it. You just gotta get that prong to feel the heat so it doesn't keep pouring gas out. You let it go. And yeah, guys, she's going. So um, we're gonna go take a uh, cruise in the snow, first time ever in the golf cart. Hopefully it's fun. Um, and I gotta do a review about the sides you know, I bought this Amazon under uh, $150, I believe, and uh, I want to show you how that worked out, and I, you know, built a little contraption for it, but that's another time. Let's go have some fun in the snow. See you in a minute. This one's for you old dudes like me that remember Pogian. Well, we'll see how it goes. Oh shit, everything's froze. Come on. Alright. I've done this in about 30 years. Probably gonna break a hip. Alright, let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> 